biggest one I have ever caught on rod reel net ever. Look at this guy. Look at this big boy. That is a big one, dude. That was a big one. He dwarfs, he absolutely dwarfs the ones in my pond. Look how big this guy is. Look at the beautiful blue stripes on him, the big yellow belly. This guy's the first catch of the day and I netted him up like a ninja, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear him. That's why they call him a grunt, because he grunts. He grunts, he's talking to you guys. But look at that thing. Absolutely stud of a grunt right there. Beautiful fish. I would put him in the big pond, but I'm honestly sick of these guys. They eat everything. I'm not trying to feed you, man. But this guy is very, very cool. Look at this guy right here. That's a big boy. Let him swim off. See ya, bud. Awesome grunt. Now this little guy is just the first catch of the day. Right when I get here, I see this big grunt up in the mangroves. Scooped him up with my net, and that is a killer first catch of the day. Now all along these mangroves houses tons of aquarium fish, eels, big fish, small fish, invertebrates, crabs, anything you can think of is all in these mangroves. Just goes to show you right when I get here, see a big grunt, scoop it right up. There is fish all over this place. We have never filmed here before. This is my first time here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mangroves everywhere, beautiful sand, actually really, really clear water. It should be more clear, but since they're dumping all the fresh water, it's kind of has a yellow tint to it, which is totally fine. We can still see in the water. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna walk around these mangroves, see what kind of sea creatures live in this area, scoop some up, and who knows, maybe we can even bring some back for the aquarium. Let's catch some awesome fish. Now, even up in this shallow water stuff, really, really close to the shore, there's still tons of creatures, even in like one inch of water. It's actually crazy. Oh, got him. Look at this little guy cruising along the mangroves, chilling in the mangroves. That's a little red shrimp right there. Look at that guy. This was literally two seconds of me looking in the water all along the shallow area, right where all the little baby mangrove stems are coming out of. These guys hang around in there. Look at this dude. He's got that blue eye, red spots on him. Very, very cool. These guys are all over the place, especially because there's a lot of this sargasm here. Bunch of things hanging up in the sargasm and all along the mangroves. Good little find. You know, my, uh, my cuttlefish may want to eat this guy because, uh, this is like perfect size for him. Now the sad part is guys, this is our first time at the spot and it is absolutely littered with trash everywhere. I'm sure there's fish and creatures living up all in these mangroves in the trash. That is absolutely sad. So we're gonna take some of this home, clean up as much as we can with all the orders that we've gotten from fishguy.shop. Each order removes trash from the ocean. So if you guys wanna support the fish guys and the ocean, go to fishguy.shop and check out the site. We just dropped our brand new Respect the Reef design. All those fish guys and girls are absolutely gonna love it. Go check out the new shirt. I'm rocking it right now today. This is actually my favorite shirt in our collection. Oh my God, there's hundreds. Now guys, under this piece of wood, there's probably 50 crabs. Look at them all darting around. There's tons. Look at these guys. I gotta catch them. They're so fast. Gotcha. Gotcha. Where's the other one? Underneath this coconut, there's like five. This one? Yeah. Look at them all. Oh my God. Oh my there's God. There's so many. There's so many guys here, dude. There's tons of them. Oh my God, it's a hog. I don't know how you're touching those. They're like little spiders, guys, everywhere. <laughs> ah, he's got me. He got me good there. Ah, <laughs> look at him pinching me there. Look at him pinching me. Look at the two different kinds of colors that I just caught under those rocks. We got like a tan one to blend in them with the seaweed, and then this one to blend in with the wood, mangroves, and the coconuts. Look at that. Oh, he's getting me good. He's trimming my cuticles right there. Look at, <laughs> look at this guy. Two baby crabs right there, just vibing. And there was a ton of like little ones. Oh my gosh, I'm crab bro. Look at this, look at this. I'm crab man. Let's let this guy go right on this. See you, buddy. There's about literally 500 here, like ones that are like tiny, tiny. It's pretty epic. Now back behind me, there's a nice little cove area with some great sunlight right in the middle of it. I'm gonna go in there, look around, and see if I can catch anything really, really cool. That seems like a really good spot where something would be hanging out. No way! Brooke, you're not gonna believe this. You're not gonna believe it, dude! I think there's, I think they're spawning or, or they're breeding or something right now in our waters. Look at another one of oh these guys. God. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Guys, we caught three of these guys. We've caught three of these last week. They all live in the seaweed. Three of these baby guys. There must be a giant breeding session going on because this is another one that we caught. Look at the beautiful yellow tail, beautiful yellow all over him. And then the best part is all those blue spots on him. I love catching these guys. I'm not gonna lie, they are one of my favorite fish to catch because they're just so weird and cool. It's like an alien. Look how paper thin he is. Look how paper thin he is. It's really weird how this evolved to be a fish. Look at that thing. That is absolutely sick. This is a big candidate to take home for the aquarium, that's for sure. This guy's very cool, very, very cool. Let's put him in our bucket just in case we wanna take him home. 
This spot's loaded. This spot is loaded. This guy I've never caught before. Get little tangle here, guys. This spot, I've, I've actually never caught this guy before. He's not a snapper. He's oh, a, it's a grunt. grunt. He's a grunt, but he's very, very different. He's not the same yellow and blue as our first grunt. This is like a brown, brown and white one. It makes sense because they probably hang up all in the mangroves and they blend right in. Isn't that crazy oh. how we can find a yellow and blue one along the rocks, but this guy along the mangroves. That goes to show. That just shows the different kind of environments they want to be in and live at. This guy's awesome. Let's release him. What do you think? He's a good fish, but not pretty enough for me. After releasing that guy, you can see he just swam right underneath that seaweed instantly. They love shelter. Stayed right under that piece of seaweed and then eventually swam off right back towards those mangroves to live to live on with his awesome life here at the mangrove spot. That was one cool fish and one that I actually have not caught before, surprisingly. Now I do want to do some snorkeling, surprisingly, here and see if there's anything out deep that I cannot see with my own eyes. Shit. What? Guys, I just got so scared out there. <laughs> there was a huge bait, a huge ball of bait that swam right up to me and jumped out of the water because they got scared by something. I'm gonna have to look back in the footage and see if anything was chasing them, but I, I kind of freaked out because this is a very sharky area. Bull sharks in here, a lot of bull sharks, a lot of big fish that they like to eat. So I'm a little sketched when I go in the water at this spot. Sour patch. And look at this, this is like stuck onto the mangrove. That was literally stuck onto this mangrove. That is absolutely despicable, guys. I'm very disappointed in anyone who comes to this spot. This is not acceptable. Plastic straw. Look at this straw right here. Turtles love a good straw, man. Unacceptable, guys. Pick up your trash. I just threw some shrimp in the water and instantly little baby fish came swarming it. In about five minutes, there's probably gonna be tons of fish all over this area. Now drop a like on this video. I really wanna leave a 24-hour fish trap in this, in this exact mangrove spot. So drop a like on this video. If it gets enough likes, if you guys wanna see me do it, I will for sure drop a 24-hour mangrove fish trap right here we could catch some insane things drop that like now guys in regards to this guy I want everyone to comment down a very creative name for our brand new file fish here our brand new batolio as we like to call them but comment an awesome name down below we already have three of them in one of our tanks we named those guys the three stooges but we need a very unique name our little file fish here this guy's very cool take it take a close look at him he's got the blue blue dots on him and the yellow all around him that'll give you guys a little bit of inspiration on what to name them. So drop those cool names down in the comments. I love how you guys are involved in the channel with naming all the fish. Keep it up. We're gonna have to do a big cleanup at this spot, guys. Big cleanup. Cause you guys supporting us at the Fish Guy Shop, this is us doing it together. I only have this little net here. I'm gonna have to come back with multiple buckets and pick up all this trash along this spot. There's a ton here. Are you guys ready to see the coolest thing ever? My yellow-headed golden eel actually does not go in the rocks. He buries in the sand. It is the weirdest thing ever. His whole body is underneath the sand right now and watch how he eats. It's incredible. Watch, he's gonna just snatch this up. Boom! That's how cool. cool is that thing? How cool is that? Now watch, the last time I fed him, his head went all the way out of the sand. Oh my God, he's so cool. It's literally the weirdest thing. I pretty much have a glorified worm <laughs> in my pond, guys. He's, he's literally a worm. Look at this, he's so aggressive. Look how aggressive, look how aggressive he is. I'll hand feed him. Oh! Hand fed the Tessalata! Oh, you see that? Look at the eel. He's gone. He buried right back into the sand there. You see that? He's not there any longer. That is so cool. Can't forget about my little shrimp here. Surprisingly, the eels do not go after the shrimp that I put in here or the crabs. So we're just gonna let this guy on the rock, let him chill in the pond. Now here comes the star of the show, the awesome. Look at that under the light. How gorgeous is that? So cool. I don't know why I love these guys so much. I need a really dope name for him so he can be a star on the channel. So let's put him in the water here. That is yeah. so cool. Welcome to your new home, my friend. This is where you will eat and hang out. I give you free meals twice a week. Three times a week if you're lucky. Remember guys, drop a like on this video if you want me to drop a 24 hour fish trap at that mangrove spot. Comment down below the awesome names. I know you guys are gonna give me some awesome names for our brand new file fish. And if you wanna support the fish guys and the ocean, the best way to do that is go to fishguy.shop and check out the brand new design that we just dropped and the awesome stuff we have on the site. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.